Are you trying to add a time tracking column to your monday.com board? Let me show you how you can easily do this. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Adding a time tracking column to your monday.com boards is super simple. Before I show you how to do it, I'd love to know in the comments section below, what are you using time tracking for? Now, we're gonna start off on a regular board and I'm just gonna click the plus button to add a new column. And I'm gonna search for time tracking and I'm going to add it in. That's it, super simple. It's already added to your board. Now let's jump into some settings so we can go a little bit deeper into what the time tracking column can do. If I click the play button, the start, you can see that my time has started to track. So I'm at five seconds. Once I hit it again, you can see that it has stopped tracking. Now, if I click on the actual time, you can see that I have a log here of the person that tracked the time, and you can have more than one person, the date and the amount of time that was added. If I need, I can edit it. So let's just say instead of starting here, I'm really going to start at 10 and I can update the session. Now you can see over here that it's at one hour and 59 seconds. I also can clear my time tracking by either clicking on this X or the clear button. So I'm going to clear it. Now it's gone. And if I want to add the whole thing manually, I can add a session manually. So let's just say I worked this last hour and I can add it in here. Now you also can edit the date so I can see the full calendar or the most recent dates if I need to change the date. And the last thing is that you can export to Excel. Finally, if you want to track seconds, you click on these three dots, settings and customize time tracking column, and you can show seconds if you want to see them. The last thing that I want to add into this time tracking column setup is that you can pull this information into a formula. So if I set up a formula column here, I can actually pull the results formula. So if I set up a formula column here, I can actually pull the results of this time tracking to use it in a meaningful way. Like instead of just viewing, let's say how much time I spent, maybe I want to see what my estimated time is per client and then what I actually spend on the client so I can use a formula column to do that calculation. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.